Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see about Nifty Index Returns with buying ATM call option monthly. So, in this what we will be doing is like we will be buying monthly call option on the day of expiry of previous month at 9.30 am. Which means like say suppose for month of uh, February, we buy January expiry day which is January last Thursday we buy ATM call option for February expiry and we will be closing that on February expiry day that is February last Thursday and we will repeat that by on February last Thursday we will buy ATM call option for March and by March we will be closing that and we will be opening April call option ATM. So that is what we are going to do in this and we are going to see whether this has given us a good profit whether this has outperformed the nifty index in overall. And also one more thing is that in this we will be like uh, entering and exiting the trade at 9.30 am as we usually do in our other videos as well, other strategies as well. And in this one more thing is like we will be buying the strike price in multiples of 100 and though we get multiples of 50s in Nifty, we are going to take only 100s, multiples of 100s, only reason being of liquidity issues. Because at the time of entering, though as it is the ATM, you will be getting in multiples of 50 also you can enter. But while exiting, say suppose if market had bent uh, wildly, if it is a mood on one direction more, then uh, the strike that you have bought will be like totally liquid and you might not be able to exit the trade. And that is the reason we are going to trade in the multiples of hundreds. And in this video, I have done mul mul like manual backtesting for the last four years data in Nifty, which is only available in uh, Opstrop. So that is the only reason I'm only taking last four years of data. And disclaimer, this is only for education purposes. Please do your research before entering any trade. And in this, totally, there is no adjustment required. So this is very much suitable for working professionals and also part-time traders. So let me take you to the Opstra so that I can explain you what I just briefed about. So uh, from, as I said, like January of 2019, I'm starting. So usually for January 2019, last explain, I need to enter on December of uh, 2018. But as we don't get uh, from 2018 in Opstra, 2019, 1st of January I'm entering only for this case. From the next uh, scenarios I'll be taking only from the last uh, Thursday of January for February experience. So you can see like uh, 1st February at 9.30 you can see market was around 10,850. It has crossed 850. So we'll just consider it 8, 10, 900. So we are going to buy 10, 900, 1 lot. 10,900 one lot we are going to buy. Our payoff chart will be like this. We are paying 177 rupees. So only if we will be making money, only if market moves, 10,900 plus 177, which is like a, almost like a 220 points from here it has to move to make at least one rupee profit. So let's see whether we really made anything for the month of uh, January. Actually, no market from 10,900. Uh, went to 10700 so we are ending in minus 13260 i have given one in few ca like cases where it is actually going to zero but just for uh, like uh, our understanding purpose i've given us one but this is going to end at zero also like at uh, this time at this 9 30 it's not exactly zero so just for convenience i have given us one so it is like minus 13260 uh, i also though it is uh, 0.2 I have given one so it really doesn't matter whether it is uh, one or 0.2 I am giving the profit and loss as shown in Opstrop. So it is like minus 13,260 is the loss amount. So now we will see like what it has happened for the month of February. So for February we will be entering the last take period of uh, uh, January last Thursday of January for February. So February 28. So February we saw that market was 10,700. So we will be buying 10,700 one lot which is trading at 219. Now we will see what happens at the end of February. Again market has market has like a minus 6,982 which is like a market has not went to zero but it has not also crossed to our profitable point. We have entered 10, 800 to 219. So ideally we'll make profit only if market goes 220 points from 10,700, which is 10, 920. But market is only has moved only 120 points. So we are like not in complete loss, but we are exactly in halfway of loss. 
max loss could have been like a 16,000. We are somewhere around 7,000 plus. So that's what I have recorded here. Now we'll see the other case, which is like we are making profit here. It'll be for March month. We are entering February last Thursday for March expiry. So now we can see like we are going to buy 10,800 call option. At 230. Now, at the end of March, we are going to sell this at 662 as market has went to 1149 and we have made a profit of 32,000. So, this is what uh, I was saying like, this is we have to keep on doing this for every month and we are going to see whether this has outperformed Nifty index. So when I see for the month of for the year of 2019, we have like a made loss of 16,888. And in this, most of the months were lost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 months out of 12 were in loss. One month was like very marginal profit. Only three months we have got very good profit. And these three months were, were enough to like kind of only 16,000 loss overall to subsidize the eight months of loss. So this is actually like a make or break. It is not, uh, even if you're breaking, it is not totally breaking, but if you're making, you're making very good money. You can see like 32,000, 23,000. In this year and all, you can see like 52,000, 59,000, 68,000, 39,000. So this is a strategy where you can kind of make money if market is trending upward in one direction. So, 2019 this was the scenario and 2020 is like actually an exceptional year because the uh, market actually fell from high of 13,000, 12,300 or something to 8,500 or even 7,800 at one point of time because of the COVID crisis as we know. So when market crashed so much and when it raised up again in a very high speed and high momentum, you are able to make this much of profit or else we will never get this month of pro this much of profit anyway so this month you can like uh, this year you can consider this as an outlier also so you need to understand that so maybe if you are like uh, considering like a 2008 scenario where there was again a very big crash in Indian index or any other major event happening and if there is a very big of uh, market going down say 50%, 30%, then that is the right time to enter this kind of trade for a very long period of time. Again, for five, six years, you cannot like just uh, hold for one year. Maybe for COVID, it has like bounced in very f a few months time, it bounced back to the normal level where we were. But say suppose if there was a recession, if there was a very big of a problem, then maybe market might not have recovered for even for a few years also. But if we are consistent for quite a few years, at least for five to 10 years, then yes, we will definitely end up in profit this on this strategy. So again, 2021, sorry, this is 2021, this is 2022, we are in August only. So 2021, even that year was like a, not uh, like a, any event driven year, but still market has uh, like rallied from 14,000 to 17,400, which is again a very good moment because of which we were able to make 58,000 profit. You can see like we have made a tremendous profit in few months, like 69,000, 34,000, 37,000. So because of these few months of profit, we were able to make very good profit. And this year again, you can see like 2022 was like uh, from 17,200, we are again in the same zone of 17,000. So, but still we are like a uh, main loss of only of uh, 26,000. We're not a very big loss. And mainly because uh, the last two months were like we are we are in a good profit because market uh, fell so much in the in month of February due to Russian Ukraine war. And again, from April till June, we saw a decline of thousand five hundred points, which was uh, like uh, due to various reasons. And because of that, we are like continuously losing for three months. Then we saw a sharp moment decrease in the last two months, which because of which we are recovered like almost uh, you can see like 60,000 we recovered or else you would have been in 85, 86,000 loss. So this is what the scenario is. I have given like how much it was in the last four years and uh, how it is uh, like a comparison between Nifty index versus a buying KTM call option. So say suppose 10,900 when Nifty was at uh, January 2019. 
Nifty was at 10,900 and now on August 22, Nifty is at 17,700, which is like 62% uh, change. So, say we suppose if you have bought the Nifty index, maybe Nifty Bs or something, this is what uh, you have made. But on the other hand, say suppose if you bought, if you have followed this strategy, and I'm just giving a rough number of say suppose we have put 50,000 because you can see like on the previous like like initially first two three months we were in loss so if you if you want to buy one lot you need to have 13,000 here which was went to zero again you put a capital of 7,000 which again went to zero and maybe again few other cases also say suppose it has went to zero so say roughly you have 50,000 this is an average number now it has turned out to be 2,60,000 16,000 uh, yeah, because this 50,000, no, actually it is uh, a wrong number, it is only 2,15,000, it is not a 2,65,000, because this is what it is. So maybe like it is not 432 percent, that is, it has not went 5 folds, but it has went 4 folds, so maybe 300 and something percentage it is, which is again a very good number. So even if you consider this as not 50,000, maybe consist consecutive have lost, maybe see in this case you are consecutively losing for 4 month is there any other time you're losing more than that one two three four five i think this was the highest losing streak ever in the last four years at least yes again here you see a four losing streak here three three losing streak so this is the maximum even in this five also if you put together six sixteen thirty four forty nine fifty five fifty seven so even if it is 57 or even if you consider it as 75 and if you're ending at 215, which is almost three times, which is 200% return, which is way higher than 62% return. This is not written per year again. This is absolute return. So we need to be aware of that as well. So it is not a return. This is just a return of investment, not like a year to year basis. So this change over the last four years, not a CGR thing. So still it is a very good return than compared to Nifty Index. So if you think of like uh, I don't want to spend time or I don't know much of uh, call option, put option, but I just instead of buying a mutual fund or instead of uh, doing something uh, like uh, uh, giving money to somebody else or doing something silly, you can just stick on to this very basic strategy. But this need so much of conviction that you need to keep doing this for quite a so many kind of like they say for this four years you, there are obviously 48 months for four years you should keep doing every month if you lose one month which you, you suppose that month was something like would have given 69,000 profit or 70,000 profit if you are losing that month then you will be like a kind of a very much worried and you might not continue it further and you might end up in a loss so you have to be consistent you have to be convicted to the strategy and you have to keep doing this to get a good profit I I think this strategy would have, if suppose I was started from then, if it was uh, introduced, that is when uh, derivatives and NFT was introduced, I hope that it would have given a tremendous return. Though I don't have the data right now, but I genuinely feel this is a very good uh, strategy and uh, we can continue doing this. Thank you.